Golden State Mining has begun the next round of drilling at its Yule project in the Pilbara's Molina Basin in Western Australia. Here to discuss the latest campaign is the company's Managing Director, Michael Moore. Hi, Michael. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you. So, Michael, up to 2,000 metres of reverse circulation drilling is planned at the Nomad Prospect. Tell us about the area being tested and what the company is targeting. Thanks for that. Last year, we we put some drilling, RC drilling into this particular area, and obviously we had some highly anomalous cesium results there that really piqued our interest. This was an area that we felt had some really good lithium potential. There's a fairly broad footprint, arsenic footprint there, with coincident lithium, rubidium and cesium numbers, uh, all very, very positive from our perspective. So it was always an area that we were going to return to drill this year. Luckily, we've been able to slip in a, a gravity and a mag survey there prior to drilling. And what that's done is effectively allowed us to fine tune that drilling. And interestingly, we did have a gravity low right next to our highest anomalous cesium result from last year. So from our perspective, it's a spot we want to get back to. And it's great to be drilling there again right now. And in the north of your tenure, reconnaissance drilling is planned at the Bala Yule Prospect to test lithium, nickel and copper prospectivity. Is that right? That's correct. Bala Yules. <laughs> it's almost somewhere where we've almost been trying to avoid to drill the last few years. And now there's no excuses, but it's quite interesting. There was a failed drill program there by another by another explorer in the mid 2000s. They got one and a half holes out of a six hole program. They just didn't apply the right techniques to drilling in that ground. And of course, we've got a lot of experience drilling there right now. And so there were some really interesting nickel numbers and a uh, highly anomalous lithium intercept in one of their holes. It's something that we've intended to get back to. And now with the rig there, it's a great opportunity to get, get back up there. And of course, you know, more of those critical minerals that we've been talking about in terms of you know, potentially copper and nickel. So uh, a great combination there. Just on that point, what is Golden State Mining doing differently with their drilling in this area then? Well, basically what we've had in this part of the world is there's a certain amount of cover. So there's roughly 20 meters of cover. And unless you go up there with the right techniques and a skilled drilling company, you can have some challenges getting through that cover. You need good drillers and good people. And we've been using a company called Top Drill. They did all the drilling, RC drilling for DeGray at their Hemi Discovery. So they're well versed. They've drilled thousands and thousands of meters in this particular part of the world. And we've been working with them now for two or three years. So for us, it's it's pretty low risk. But, um, you know, we've we've certainly learned quite a lot there over the past period of time. So once drilling at Nomad and Balayul wraps up, what's in store for the rest of the year? Well, there would be more drilling to start with, so we're not taking our foot off the gas in that respect. We've got 14,000 metres allocated to the broader Yule project, so a number of other targets, gold and lithium targets, as well as base metals. So that'll take us probably about six weeks, uh, well into uh, September with that drilling. And then, of course, we've got the results program coming out. So there will be, it's about six week wait times at the labs at the moment. So from probably early October all the way through to late November, early December, there'll be results coming through from both the RC program and the Air Corps program. We know investors love that news flow, uh, appetite for that. So we'll be delivering that over the next few months. Michael, great to chat. Thanks so much for your time today. Thank you.